Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we are reading for July 17th, 18th, and 19th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Libras. Hello, my Libras. Now, you know that I use two Radley Valentine decks. I use my Angel Tarot cards for the main message, and then Archangel Power Tarot cards. I try to just pull one. I prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself up to my higher power, and whatever the message is that needs to come through, it just does for whoever might need to hear it. I have three cards face down, middle one reversed, stronger energy. Now remember... July 20th, we will have the second new moon in Cancer. It's something that doesn't occur too often. Um, new moons, remember full moon to new moon, release. New moon to full moon, you know, request. Uh, this new moon, Cancer is about, you know, trust, and it's also about home. This is about possible new starts, or I should say starting over, okay? So let's see what we have for Libras. For the weekend, first card. Here we are, the two of fire. Now, fire energy is Leo. We are coming into Leo season, and I will get Leo and uh, Leo cards out soon. But you know, we're, we're we're entering into that time. It's also Sagittarius, Aries. It's passionate. It's burning. It is fiery type of energy. It's also let's get started. Let's get started and get a move on it, my Libras. What are you waiting for? Okay, I don't know who that's for, but I feel like my Libras, get a move on it. What are you waiting for? This is your time. Start, start, start. Now, granted, this is still the summer season, you know, Lib at least in the northern hemisphere it is, but my Libras, I really get this call to action for you. I get this you know, it, it's like you've been waiting, waiting, waiting. Now let's get moving, okay? I feel a lot of strong action for you. I feel also there's that two energy going on to twos, connecting, connecting either with a partner in the natural or a partner in that supernatural. So Libra, two of fire, you come into your own. New partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. Now, like again, too, this is this is like that internal, you know, that internal struggle that you know you sometimes you know again, my Libras, it's like you thinking that you need to satisfy somebody else's wants instead of your own. Okay, somebody else's expectations and not necessarily your own. Okay, don't know who that needed. This one is reversed. Here we go. This one's the Queen of Air. This is your energy, okay? And I would say whether you be male or female, that this is definitely Libra's card. This is your energy, Aquarius energy. It's also Gemini energy, thought processes. It could also be your words. It could also be how you are conveying yourself. It's also how are you showing your, you know, how are you speaking your truth? How are you um, putting out what it is that you've been wanting? Remember when I'm saying that it's you know it's time to start meeting your expectations, and this this is this is saying the same thing. Okay, this is you projecting what it is that you've been looking for, what you've been wanting. What are you expecting out of your life, my Libras? I know I'm getting really kind of deep in this, but this is you putting it out there now. This is also, you know, it's not to say that you're deaf, that you're wanting to do it alone. You're not. You're not. You, you know, you want your friends, your family, whoever that is, to succeed with you. But it's kind of like I'm kind of feeling like if you, it's like, you know, if they don't want to come with you, you you'll do it on your own. Okay. So independent, experienced, realistic, witty, objective decision making. Clearing away all that no longer serves you. Remember the full, full moon to new moon. Get rid of stuff. Um, seeing the humor in a situation. It's kind of like looking at things also and just kind of saying, aha, uh -huh, I get it. I get it. It's one of those aha uh -huh moment too, moments for this weekend too. Now believe me, many times over we get it and then you know we, we go on and then we get it again. We get a little more. Okay, so... Your last card here, 
awakening. Awakening. That's kind of what I was just talking about, wasn't it? It's kind of like, aha, I get it. Things that maybe you didn't see before, it's now becoming apparent. It's now, you're now seeing things in a different light. You are seeing, it, you know, you're more objective. There's, even though you do have this fiery passion with you, you know, you know, this new partnership, you have this, I really need to go and do it. You're seeing things differently and that you're, you're kind of, you are separating that emotion from, you know, you're, you're separating the heart from the head, okay? And this is looking at things maybe a little bit differently. This is Archangel Energy. Archangel Gabriel, he's always, he's also the, um, you know, divine messenger. Look at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill, but it's important to be yourself. And that's what I think this is all about. This is about, like I said, it's, it's your expectations. And I said that just on that two of fire. It's, a, it's about your expectations. It's about you being who you need to be. And this, so this weekend, um, remember too, and I think that you'll deal well with it. Okay, two cards didn't want to go back in the deck. I think you'll deal well with it. It's like not, it's not, other people, when you stand in, in your own power, when you're moving your own direction, where, or you're going down where you're supposed to be going, um, you know, other people will try to put blocks up. It, but you're seeing them. You're seeing the blocks. And you're going to, I mean, you're going to be kind with them, but you're still seeing the blocks. Okay, two cards came face up. And, oh, interesting. Interesting. So when, I'm going to put these both up together. You know, they're both reversed and they wouldn't go back in. So this is when you are promised the moon and the stars. Okay, or I should say the moon and the stars. So here we have the moon. Archangel Heniel, and remember, new moon, and remember, there are things that we don't always know that's going on, because even though we have the phases, um, you know, and like I said, and this is kind of that starting over type of energy, so if there's a new, pro if there's a project that you started, maybe you started, maybe you went, you started college way back when, and now's the time to think about, you know what, I want to go back to finish it, okay, it's that type of energy. The opportunity to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger. And that is Archangel Heniel. Now we have Archangel Jophiel with the star. And here, it's funny, we have 17, 18, you know, consecutive numbers. A dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. So things moving forward for you of course, but this is again, what I, you know, this is you figuring out, acting on what you are wanting for you. Okay. Okay. So my Libras, if you enjoy my readings, remember down there, the buttons, the like, the share, subscribe, it does help to support my channel. As always, my Libras, know that you are loved. Be safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.